Hello everyone, welcome back to another topic from DNA Biosense. Today we are discussing about a very important topic of evolution that is called the geological time scale. So what does it mean? The geological time scale is generally the time period from the origin of art to the current date. So the sequence of events that occurred from the origin of art to till death is represented in the form of time scale that is called geological time scale. We know that the art is estimated to be 4.5 billion years ago old. So the sequence of events that occur after the origin of art is divisible into first one is the largest unit that is called the eons. Eon is the largest unit then the eons are divided into eras. Generally, six eras are present, but three are most important. That is the Paleozoic, Mesozoic and Cenozoic. Then the eras are further divided into the periods. These are the periods. Then the periods are again divided into epochs. So the sequence is first the largest unit is eon, then era, then period, then epoch. After the art got created, the first era which occur is Iozoic era. It is not mentioned here because in that era no life was formed. It is without life. And the next era is Archaeozoic era where the life begins. And the next is the Proteozoic era that is called the primitive life. So in this particular eon, the bacteria and the archaeas are predominant and in case of animals, the protozoans are dominant. So let's discuss the properties of Precambrian type. The Precambrian time is supposed to be the longest part of Earth history. It is about 4.5 billion years. The past living things appear about 3.5 million years billion years ago. During the pre-crambium, the single-celled simple organisms that is the archaea and the bacteria are predominant. So in the pre-crambium, we just need to remember one thing: the archaea and the bacteria are predominant. Precambrian is again divided into Proterozoic that is called the primitive life, Archean that is for the Archibacteria and Hadean. The next era is Paleozoic era. Paleozoic era is differentiated into Carboniferous period, Devonian period, Silurian period, Ordovinian period and Cambrian period. So First one is the Permian period. Which animals are predominant here? In the Permian period, the major extinctions of the reptiles diversity occur. And in that period, the winged insects are predominant. Next, in case of Carboniferous, it is called the age of amphibians. Here, the scale trees, the seed ponds, and the first reptiles appear. The next is the Devonian period. In the Devonian period, the first amphibians appear and it is called the age of the fish as jawed fish diversity occur. The next is Silurian period. It is called the first vascular land plants period. In this period, the jawed fish, wingless insects, terrestrial plants are predominant. The next is the Ordovinian period. Ordovinian period is the jawless feces predominant and the marine animals mostly seen. The next is the Cambrian period. The Cambrian period is where the first feces are seen, first cordates and it is called the age of trilobites. So Paleozoic era is called the ancient life often known as the age of the feces. At the beginning of this era, there is an explosion of life in the warm cellosis of the time. Organisms with cells and vertebrates backbone form, that is the trilobites, molluscans, fish and amphibians. Then the next era is Mesozoic era. It is divisible into three periods. First one is the Cretaceous, second one is Jurassic, third one is Triassic. And the Jurassic period is also called as the age of gymnosperm and the reptiles, for example, the Archaeopteryx. So, Mesozoic era, you can say it is the medial life or the age of the reptiles, where the large reptiles are first formed, like the dinosaurs that form in the Triassic. 
then it get diversified in the Jurassic and it becomes extinct in the Cretaceous period. So the next era is Cenozoic era. It is divisible into Quaternary period, Neocene period and the Paleocene period. The Quaternary period is further divided into the Holocene epoch and the Pleistocene epoch. So the Quaternary period is called as the age of mammals and the birds and the Neocene is further divided into Pliocene and Miocene. The Miocene epoch is called as the age of flowering plants. The next is the Paleocene. Paleocene is divided into Oligocene, Eocene and Paleocene. So the Cenozoic era you can say it is the recent life and known as the age of the mammals. Correct? Mammals and the birds. So this is all about the geological time scale. So let me summarize it's once again in the pre cambrian region that is the oldest living things thought to have first form uh, before 3.5 billion years ago that is the bacteria are predominant then in the paleozoic era the in the Permian, the wing insect are present in the carboniferous it is the age of amphibians the devonian is the age of fish the silurian is jawfish and wingless insect it is also called terrestrial plants are predominant in the ordovian the jawless fish are present in the cambrian it is called the age of trilobites so you can see it is the area dominated by life in the oceans okay the next is mesozoic here the cretaceous period the dinosaur extinct jurassic dinosaur get diversified and in the Triassic, the dinosaurs appear. So at the end of Mesozoic era, an asteroid hit the Earth coming mass extinction and the end of the dinosaurs occur. And the next is the Cenozoic era. Cenozoic era divisible into Quaternary, Neocene and Paleocene. And the Quaternary period is called the Age of Mammals and Birds. The Miocene period is called the Age of Flowering Ponds. This is all about the geological time scale. I hope it will help you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel to get notified with new videos. Thank you.